Honey, allow me to be your sign that you have been asking for and been needing to let go of that situation that has been doing nothing but causing you stress and anxiety, honey. It is not worth it for it to be living in your mind rent free and you're not being paid for it, honey. Hey girl, my beautiful Aquarius, how are you doing? My name is Simply Valka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot reading. So if you find any tarot cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading, Aquarius, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe because it does help out my channel a lot. Um, as well as let me know in the comments below which tarot cards resonate with you and how they do Aquarius because that's how I keep up with y'all is through the comments. Um, and also I did your bonus weekly reading, I guess it's not technically weekly Aquarius, but I'll leave a link to your bonus reading, which I will leave somewhere around here for y'all to check out if you'd like. But when it comes to any of my readings, Aquarius, be sure to rely on your intuition because put it in perspective, just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the tarot cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. I believe the tarot cards here and just tarot readings in general are here just to give you some food for thought or perspective to, to consider, but never making the decision in your life because it is your life to live, not mine and not these tarot cards. So all that being said, Aquarius, let's just jump into your weekly reading. And so I pulled some tarot cards for you guys already, Aquarius, and I'll show them to you now. Uh, we have the Ace of Earth for you, or Ace of Pentacles. We have the Ace of Water, or the Ace of Cups. Come on now. Come on, Aces. We have the Two of Fire, or the Two of Wands for you, Aquarius. And then we have the Seven of Air, or the Seven of Swords for you. So, hmm. Definitely Aquarius, you're kind of almost, you're, you're Aquarius, this, I'm probably even going to title your video this way, Aquarius. I really feel like some Aquariuses were really looking for a sign to move on from something and to cut something out entirely. And I don't know if, I can't help but feel like this is kind of reminiscent of one of your readings, either last week's reading for you, Aquarius, or your bonus reading. But there's definitely something that you were looking for a sign on, and I feel like actually it was your bonus reading, where you got like a couple aces as well. Um, you were waiting for a sign on something just to move on from it, because for whatever your reasoning was, Aquarius, you're not really trusting of it. You're kind of like being like, hmm, I don't know what to make of this. And so you're waiting for a sign to do something that you actually want to do, or engaging with people and things that you actually want to engage with. Uh, so it's interesting. We're going to start with your Seven of Air, or your Seven of Swords first, Libra. Libra, I'm sorry, Aquarius. Uh, Aquarius, we're going to start with your Seven of Air, Aquarius. This card says, plans that need revision, more going on that meets the eye, and then poor timing. Now, in normal tarot for Seven of Swords, this is a card of where it's like, in, a, in the midst of a bunch of chaos, you're looking for that one sign of being like, where it's just like, oh, okay, I just need to go into this direction, right? So, you know, let's use the example of um, <clears throat> you're out at sea, right? And you're just like, all right, well, I need to find whatever that thing goes around, the the thing that shoots the light around. I sound so uneducated right now. You're, like, you're looking for land, you're looking for a sight or a sign regardless, maybe even like an albatross, right? Because don't albatrosses give you a sign of where to go? um <laughs> for land uh but regardless you're looking for a sign to give you direction on where to go next and i feel like for some of you aquariuses um you kind of have this idea on being like eh, where it is i need to go next is over here a little bit i need to make this decision here i need to let go of this thing here this probably isn't going to be part of my path but this over here i need to keep an eye on this side over here because i think that's going to be something that's profitable right that's what's going on for you right because you have an idea already you already have a little bit of intuition tapping in for you aquarius where so you're just like all right this is where i need to go so let's get a little bit more detail on this aquarius Okay, we already have one card out. I'm going to be pulling two more for you, Aquarius. These cards are just falling. Here we go. All right, so the clarifiers that we have, Aquarius, for your seven of air, 
is the Knight of Pentacles with the Page of Wands as well as the Chariot card. So, hmm. I mean, this really, for, like, for you, Aquarius, like, I know it was in um, Gemini's reading. I was telling Gemini to be a little bit more open to being more malleable in how things are uh, going to pan out. For you, Aquarius, you're kind of just like, you don't really care how the details of it. You're kind of just like, you know what, like, I'm just ready for some good, honey. Like, whatever that looks like, whatever shape, form what have you you just want some good you're just again it's just like really looking for a sign of where it's just like you're getting like that thumbs up of being like all right you want to go here right and i really do get i know the ship analogy really doesn't isn't fitting for how entirely isn't really encompassing everything that i'm feeling for the seven of swords or air because i do feel like it's like waiting for a sign to move on from something that you're currently doing um because you have the page of wands here now this is my card of a fresh start right so um it's like you're oh you're like i guess if we're gonna really try to make this ship analogy work aquarius it's like you're going north right now but you have it in your head of being like oh if i go northwest right i feel like that might actually take me to where i need to be and like that'll be like where like the promised land is right because you have the knight of pentacles here and the chariot card this lets me know you already have this in mind right this doesn't like whenever you go that northwest because i do feel like you go that northwest i feel like this is like like the final bits of like what we're dealing with like your fine in the final stretch of like this final transition going into this page of wands um with this Aquarius, this Knight of Pentacles and the Chariot, this confirms me. It's like you already kind of had like uh, your Uber on speed dial and be like, all right, like, all right, boys, this is where we need to go. This is the direction we need to start going northwest, right? The Knight of Pentacles is ready to go into trekking into this new journey. The Chariot card is where it's just like once you identify it, right? You acknowledge you're going to be a little bit uncomfortable pushing your boundaries a little bit um, as the Knight of Pentacles, but you match it with the Chariot energy where it's just like, you just lean into a full blown like it's almost like without question aquarius you're just like i know this is like it's one of those things where you are you normally i'm so used to aquarius is like trying to be like oh this is going to build uh so much character for you be optimistic about this for you aquarius you're kind of like i know it's going to build character for me i know um you know it's going to make you uncomfortable but you also know this is your right this is the next step for you right you also know like there's a reason as to why like yeah it just feels like you know you need to make yourself uncomfortable you can't stay in your comfort zone any longer you know you need to push yourself in some aspect in a way that you weren't uh normally pushing yourself in before aquarius so uh yeah putting this card to the side now we get into your ace of water now something you want to point out aquarius i don't think i've ever really touched on it when you have aces and now i know for a fact you guys had this before aquarius because i was explaining it into a reading before where it's just like me see aces um that's like a sign of like a forward affirmation into doing something so that is part of the reason why you're looking i was saying you're looking for a sign Aquarius to stop going a certain way or to let go of something because of these aces you were identical trying to find that sign and spirit brings forward that sign with these aces here um, so we're going in, into this ace of water for, first for you Aquarius or the ace of cups this card says falling in love with the resurgence of a relationship uh, spiritual growth and enhanced intuition and a new home so notice how we're talking really honing in on new things but also the ace of water i know in this artwork uh, aquarius the artwork doesn't really give it justice for well it, it's gorgeous artwork i guess it's not fair for me to say but in, in normal tarot the ace of cups kind of gives the representation of like your heart opening up um really like a, an extremely positive card so let's look at this a little bit more you know this is kind of what i feel like is um the sign that you're looking for essentially uh aquarius this is what's going to cause you to finally like let go and go into this new situation don't mind me i was like cuddling my cat earlier before i turned on the camera and i think one of her cat hairs are like getting into my eye uh <laughs> fellow pet owners probably can definitely relate i always feel like i'm bringing my cat along with me in every video just because of how much fur gets on me 
but yeah the clarifiers we have for your ace of water we have the eight of cups with the ace of wands you're getting all these aces honey the only ace you're missing now is the ace of swords uh, and the five of pentacle or five of uh wands so get an ace confirming with an ace and i was saying just beforehand i was getting the sense that this is how uh you get the, this is like your sign pile right this is how that sign looks for you to move on and confirming it right you have this with the it starts this out with the five of wands the five of wands is a card of just conflict you know just you know things that are just overall impeding you or slowing you down while you're progressing into your path right so i definitely do see like a kind of like a boiling point almost that causes you to leave aquarius whatever that comes in as right let's see if i can pull a card real quick get an idea of that eight of cups i pulled eight of cups twice now okay i'm gonna be honest aquarius with eight of cups just already the message itself it says where it's like you make the decision to walk away from something even if it looks promising out into the unknown right that's why you have the sun card here not the sun but the moon here because you're it's signifying you going out into the unknown you don't know about it right so really honing in on that message of the knight of pentacles from before but as well with the eight of cups it's just yeah it's kind of like you kind of taking that gamble you don't know what it's going to look like so I really kind of get this sense, Aquarius, where it's like, you know, I might even backtrack a little bit where I was saying, I feel like you kind of have to make the decision to walk away from this obstacle or this thing. You're not going to get like a sign that pushes you and makes this decision any easier, Aquarius. The only way to make the decision easier is for you finally deciding to claim up your Ace of Wands and to um, just go ready to go forward with your life. It's almost like for you, Aquarius, you, yeah, the ball is in your court, essentially, is what Spirit's trying to get across with this, where it's just like, you're searching for a sign, but even if signs come forward to you, um, I don't feel like it's going to make your decision any easier. You kind of have to, you, the Eight of Cups is definitely the one where it's just like, you definitely are the one that has to, like, walk away from the situation, right? Um, because it's like these Eight Cups, they just off surface level, I say eight cups and only showing the one that doesn't have the eight cups off surface level this looks promising right this water looks promising but there's something deep inside this person that tells them that it's just like no my story gets better right there's something out there that's even better for me and that's why this individual chooses to walk away because even though this water may sustain a little bit this person here feels like there's better things out there so you know take that as you will aquarius now we get into your ace of earth or your ace of pentacles this card says an inflow of abundance this is kind of like what it what happens after you take that risk right inflow of abundance a promising business venture important documents or contracts right so this is just like as the ace of pentacles this is like your cornucopia or if we're going to go along with that desert the narrative that we we're talking about um here right you know this is the you find you end up finding an oasis you end up being right essentially uh aquarius so let's pull some tarot cards which deck do you want to use though I'll use this one a lot of people like using this deck when i use this deck rather so let's see aquarius do -do -do. Do -do -do. Right. so we got quite a few cards for you aquarius we got as clarifiers for your ace of earth or ace of pentacles the two of wands with the knight of swords three of pentacles six of swords and the star card this is your card aquarius the star is the zodiac sign that is related to the star is aquarius um so this is you answering your purpose right um now with this ace of pentacles here aquarius there's definitely, you start making a lot of ground. You start making a lot of forward ground in this once you identify like your game plan. But I feel like um, Aquarius, for some of you guys, you haven't even asked yourself the question of like how you're necessarily going to execute something, right? You're craving that collaboration. You're craving 
um, documents, those contracts being presented to you um, that are very promising and would help you out in your path a lot, right? Because both of these cards talk about documents and contracts, right? You're searching for some type of partnership. And partnerships are in the process of coming to you. But I kind of feel like for some of you Aquariuses, you guys got to like sit, take, sit down with yourself and really come up with like a structured plan, Aquarius, of like how exactly you want to execute this. Um, I feel like like mentally or like in your mind and the passions there with all these wands, like you have the passion, you have the creative mind for it. Uh, Aquarius, but I feel like there's just a little bit more structure that needs to happen so that way you can bring close the distance off um, because this is what this is really signifying is like a lot of distance between what it is that where it is that you are and where it is that you want to get to and I feel like the way to close off that distance is a little bit more structure right because with the knight of swords here with the uh, two of wands you have like an idea of like the long-term goal you even have an idea of like the the route you're gonna travel where it's just like all right i'm gonna take i-95 here and then take it and ride the wave almost but you know i feel like there's just like a little bit more detail that needs to happen and that will really get the ball rolling for you because again there's this emphasis on planning because you have the two of wands here and then we get into your final card aquarius where it's the two of fire or the two of wands again and I want to read off this card because this card has contracts on it as well. So it's just really honing in Aquarius on contracts coming in for you. Uh, this card says you've come into your own, right? And naturally it's with that star card. Uh, the new partnerships or contracts, literally the same messages as before with that three of pentacles and the ace of pentacles and continue moving forward. Yeah, honestly, uh, Aquarius, if you're going to take anything from this reading, I would say to really just start adding a little bit more structure to things, really start developing, like being like, yeah, you may, you have an idea of where you want to, how you want to like make your money, for example, right? You have an idea of being like, all right, I'm gonna, I want to be self-employed. I want to be able to rely on my own income and rely on my own work to sustain myself. Well, what does that look like? How do you go about doing that and how you actually taken these ideas this passion these creative things uh in your that's going on in your head aquarius and have you actually put some structure and taken it and put it on paper have you actually started speaking it out loud and started treating it as like a real thing rather than as something that you just daydream about and something that you make wishes on you're like all right well let's do let's actually do something about this let's not just make a wish on it let's actually take some action and i see you eventually getting into that point Aquarius you you know just let me know how you end up put, uh, applying that structure in your life let us know in the comments below maybe Aqu you Aquariuses can help each other out in that way do you feel drawn just to pull a couple moon oracle cards before we close your reading off Aquarius you have the mutable moon nothing is yet set in stone and new moon in Gemini communication is key hmm I feel like this is kind of like, I don't feel, especially when it comes to Oracle cards, I don't like to really hone in on the messages too much because I like to see the, the Oracle cards as like cards that are just pulled that like more so just like an intuitive like hits resonantly like when you see the card you kind of know where it's associating with so I don't like to treat this like the normal tarot so these messages came for it for whoever Aquarius is, whichever Aquarius is needed to hear those messages I suppose. But um, yeah, Aquarius, that's the reading that I have for you this week. If you enjoyed this tarot reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Give this video a like and subscribe, Aquarius. And then also, I do weekly readings for all the zodiac signs. So if you have a friend that's into tarot, or even if they're not Aquarius, uh, share my videos with them and maybe they can find the tarot message that resonates with them. Um, remember, I did your bonus reading, so be sure to check that out so you can get a little bit more detail on what's going on in your life right now. Maybe a little bit more perspective if you're searching for that. And yeah, I'll connect with you sometime in the near future, hopefully. I love you so much, Aquarius.